Hello gentlemen, welcome back to the Borussia Dortmund career mode. In the last episode, as you can see, it was 0-0 at the start with Inter in the first leg, but we turned it around at home and made it 3-0. A very convincing win indeed with Jude Bennett scoring an absolute scream. He's just been doing that recently. That's why the fun there was about him in the last video because he's an absolute baller. But then we went on to the Bundesliga, back to our roots, and I'll show you what happened there. We absolutely demolished last episode with an unbelievable 6-0 win over Osberg right there with Hosland again I believe getting a hat trick just an unbelievable performance from the whole team and especially that young talent right there the extra Viking in the team as I like to probably say right now and also to finish off the episode we went against Leverkusen first versus fourth where we absolutely battered them at 3-0 as well and as you can see from the table we have got that three point cushion but we just wanted to increase a little bit more we just got to keep winning games and hoping for it and Leipzig just slip up just a tad right there. But focus on today's episode and looks like we've got Leverkusen again back to back. But this time it's in the quarterfinals in the Champions League. You know the rules by now. If you don't, we play highlight games until we get to the semis or the finals. So let's get into the pre-match conference here and see if we can do the double over Leverkusen. Come on. So here we go then. Question time for Big Barry. Pressure tournament team morale are happy. Can we change to very happy? Let's just answer the correct questions given what the reporter wants to say here. Is this a close game to call? I think we could do it. I mean, coming from the last game in the league, 3 0 victory. So, why can we not do the Champions League? We want to go back to back. This is one of our main goals as well. It looks pretty evenly matched contest. Well, I wouldn't really say that considering the last game, uh, reporter. You really didn't see that, did you? But I'll just say we fancy our chances, which I do. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell the truth, I do fancy a chance in this one again, especially on the highlights. The Dorma team is very in and out recently, I mean it isn't though is it, I mean you're just, uh, you're talking uh, bollocks to learn, hold him on French, but you are, it's all about confidence, let's just say that, let's get that morale right up at the top of the corner to the max, get that smiley green face up. But there are the questions it seems, no more, yes it's only three That's all the time it? we have for today, but There Thank it you. is, let's get into the lineups, come on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the last day against Leverkusen. There's a little bit of switching around, but this is our strongest team on paper. Normally you would see Gavi in that centre mid row, but I've decided to pick Glow back into his natural position when we convert him into that centre mid row because he just goes up to a 94 with that plus 5. Munio goes back in left back, so maybe in the newer season we invest back into a left back. I did see someone suggest Alfonso Davis, which could be very sneaky, but Bayern and Dortmund like to do that in real life. They like to sell to the, their rivals, which is very strange. But, you know, you do you. Looking at Leverkusen, though, and the one thing that stands out for me, obviously a very good side, but their stammer is absolutely appalling. Set from Martinez, Hodeski, Hoslek, and Berniger in left wing. But the rest of them are pretty much in the full stammer. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Antonio in the uh, right mid spot. Yeah, so we should be a bit more of an advantage as well. So, could be an absolutely whitewash this. Let's find out on the highlights. Come on. So, here we go then. Back at the yellow wall once again. And Leverkusen for the second time visit. We've got to absolutely send them home crying back to back or they're going to get their revenge us and knock us out of the Champions League. That's the question. I'll get the first leg over them. I do apologise right there. I keep forgetting it's probably two legs, not one leg. I've had a shocker. But yeah, looking at their stamina, I feel like this should be a bit more a comfortable win. I feel like with our stamina being way more higher, fully fit, should play into our favours, especially being at home as well. So let's get into the highlights. Come on. Already, oh, so. Not the start we wanted. Penalty kick for Leverkusen here in Cuckoo, number four, and he should be at Chelsea, but this is a note save, so he's going to be still here. Can we save it though? Kobo stepping up, he can! I'll tell you what, I've got voodoo in my body because I can always read the bloody pens. Good save there from Kobo. Our skipper still no no there. I know he's trying to get like a slivery little snake penalty there, but we denied them. Out we go with Cody Gap with the flying Dutch money. Doesn't clear it well, they've still got it. Now he recovers. Well done. They're going to go out here. There we go. There's the... Uh, and then another penalty. What the bloody hell is going on here? EA is scripted in this game, ain't they? Someone has paid the referee. Can we go back to back? Save a call. I'm going to go left this time. Why not? I've saved it again. Hey, that's pretty good. I can't believe it. Cobra with the man of the match. Two saves in Cuckoo. That's a shocker. No wonder why Leo Cuckoo's in one minute more. Like, Man. Here goes Cody Gapo now. Waits for his good pal, Harold and Haaland. Haaland gets past him here. Can Haaland finish the goal? He can! Of course he can, even on the hardest angle. Leipzig obviously didn't want in Kuku anymore. He misses two pens. But we've got a consistent stroke up top. And as the Viking, we brought him back. Haaland makes it 1-0. Leverkusen 
Pound a shocker with the two penalty misses. Here we are, running rampant out from the opposite end. Lelu. Here we go, swinging the ball in. It's going to Harley Gunn. Who's this? Overhead kick. Why not? Go for it, my son. Matt Hummel's here. Go for a little pop up. Why not? The centre back on the shot here. Goes for the near post, goes wide, though. Lelu Kuz in counter attack in the 59th minute. Unless it's going more to the left. It's Side of the pitch here, they're going to work into the middle, they're not going to force it still down the left. Number 20 more, Yerimo. Man was experienced, just gets battled there. Not good. And was getting battered, it's going to leave us a bit of a shake situation, but Bremer, well done. Still one of the strongest centre backs in the world, football right now in this career mode. Has done well in the 69th minute, it looks like the Viking Big Erling could potentially be through again here. Can he keep going? He can. Martinez does really well to stop him in his tracks. 73rd minute. Another goal would be brilliant in this first leg. Just to get a bit of cushion to go away to the Leverkusen right here. But I'm looking at you to swing a deadly ball in. That's a... Mm, Alright, okay. I mean, it is quite deadly. Someone could have contested the keeper, but no one did. Let's say the 81st minute here. No Hodgson so far from the assistant manager. He might be on. Not too sure, but doesn't seem like it. Erlen Hallam. Here he comes. Still running at the fence. Gets past one, and Hannah finished the goal. He can that kid. I'm gonna say it. He could win the Ballon d'Or. He could win the Ballon d'Or in real life. He could, and in this career, and even though we signed him midway through, that's unbelievable. On his left, on his right, he could do it all. But there it is, just like that. Two 0 thanks to Big Erling once again. That's why we got him back. Edin Militao's had a shocker, thinking, "What the hell did I leave Real Madrid to go to Leeds?" Because they've had a shocker. And there it is, 2-0, a lovely team display. What a display from Coburn. I'm going to give him out of the match. Not Hallen, he with two goals. Two penalty saves back-to-back -back pretty much. Has won us that game. Well done indeed from the rest of the team. Hallen and Coburn take the show. 2-0 against Leverkusen. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, jumping back into the Bundesliga now. And it looks like we're going against Hoffenheim, which are fifth. So they'll be playing for about Europa League with me with Champions League football. Before we get into that, we have got one player chat in the top right corner. Let's have a little gander at this. Is I'm happy with the games. Give me boss. Hey boss, just when you know talking about the position you're playing me in. First, I don't know what you're on about, my man. I'm playing you in natural position. He's had a shocker. Blake Florin has already hit his head somewhere and had a bit of a mare because I'm actually playing him in the camera. But let's get into the lines against Hoffenheim and see if we can continue in first. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the live today against TSG Hoffenheim today. Looking at the team, we can see that Hoshlin starts over Cody Gapo. Obviously, we cannot ignore the stats that he's reducing at the moment. So that is why he goes against Hoffenheim today. You can see Galelo going in left back. I didn't really get to see a lot of Munia in that highlight game. I just, I kind of do prefer Galelo in left back, to be quite honest with you. Even if he does take the minus. 86, I think it is a brilliant role there, and also that means we can also train up and grow Gabby, as you can see there, on the 84 overall. I've also decided to start Munia over Tanani, because Tanani's absolutely brilliant, do not get that wrong there, but there's no reason that's to drop Munia in that DM role, he's doing absolutely fine there as well. And also just a bit of a veteran in the centre-back in Hummels over Tomori today. Looking at Hoffman's team today though, Kramer's looking at the biggest threat, Rutter as well, Takore. Kabak, not a bad team at all. And also they have got Bowman as their captain in goal. A player that has caused us a bit of trouble in the goalkeeper, but hopefully with the boy Hosland and Hanlon up top, we should be A-OK. -okay. So let's get into this game. Come on. So there you go, like 100 games as a Boris Storman manager for Barry. Very well done for myself. Uh, I pat on my back for myself there. And also Barry making the uh, Dortmund one of the best teams, maybe the best team. In world football in this career mode right now but regardless of that match day 29 is here against Hoffman and we are back at home at the yellow wall like i said the most dangerous player is probably Kramer and rutter and Bowman has caused a bit of problems in goal before he saved a lot of shots against us it's always bloody him so hopefully we can uh, teach him a lesson and bang a lot of goals in, especially with Hoffman being in tremendous form scoring back to back hat tricks pretty much this guy is an absolute freak Come on. So there we go. Hoslin kicking off as course, as per usual. Bournemouth in the yellow and black, the Bombay colours. And Hoffenheim in their home colour, in the blue and white. Very nice and saucy indeed. Hallen gets to take him down there. Not too bad. And it looks like Kramich playing the 1 2 with Jorginho. Fair enough. 
And was well done. That's the veteran there coming into play there. It looks like Bayern with Oshman has made it 1 0 the top of the corner against Leipzig. I didn't realise actually them two are playing. So hopefully, I mean, the best result would be a draw. But I mean, actually, no, I think, yeah, well, yeah, the best result would be a draw. But at the same time, hang on, let me just. Oh, oh, man, that's just coming from that. A draw or Leipzig getting the win over Bayern so knocks them down and we get a six point gap. That would be unbelievable. But we'll have to see what happens there. You can also see as well 25 games. With goals in. Oh no, sorry, I read it wrong. I read a shocker. 28 games and 25 goals. Very nice for Very consistent numbers right there. Oh, and Cranmer just getting this. Oh, I'm very lucky indeed. There's me. I need to shut up about these uh, statistics right here. We don't have switched off a little bit there. Hummels just getting caught up on his feet. And luckily, Cranmer just med led the touch. And Cole was there to trade. But here comes Jude Bellum now. Jude Bellum, really in good form. Plays it. Try to play it back there to Jude, but it goes to Han instead. Bit of a tight angle, that's not where you want hand on the wing, you want down the central, that's where he's most deadly. Kramish on the ball here, playing it to Jorginho, as I pronounce his name. So that's like I'm probably saying the uh, Chelsea midfielder, the Italian, the, uh, the skippery penalty taker. And Zuki on the ball here, against Grotuga, Grotuga an absolute unit. What a player he is, what a signing. Fake me out there, you little bastard, and again. Kramich plays it back to Insuki, plays it inside to Shabashenko. So Jackson Georgini goes for the pot shot. And we get away with it. Now we can count it now. Get it into first, perhaps Jude. Well done. Burt's on the ball now. Plays it to Erlen Halland. That's a very poor touch from Erlen hand. That's not what you want to see from him. It's very unlikely to see that from him being such high overall. Big shocker there indeed. Shabashenko here, number seven. Plays it to Insuki. And we go here. Well done from Jude Bellingham. Well done indeed. Erlen Hannah on the ball now. Can we get to a go in here? Just play it over there to Drew Bellman. We're going to try and find Hodgland in the middle. We're going to find Hodgland. Can't get a touchdown though, unfortunately. Very, uh, we're kind of struggling to break Hoffenheim down. Gabby inside. Bellman. Got it from Bellingham's. Ran right into the wing and looking for Hall on the back post. He's going to get it to Hall and Hall on. Oh, there you go. I've called it. Bowman always pulls off incredible saves. And that is one right there. What a save from Bowman. What a strike from Hall. How has he saved that? I don't know. But what a save from Bowman. Unlucky. So, corner kick right now. Canvert. Swing a good delivery. It's going to the smallest part on the pitch. And it's Galelo. He shouldn't even be contesting or trying that move. But he did. I tell you what, it was very close from going in. Unlucky indeed. So in the 40th minute now, and I must admit, Hoffenheim are doing really well in defence. Yes, we just had them two chances there, but it doesn't seem very fluent getting through at the moment. And I've got to give it to Hoffenheim. They're holding the ground. The team that are trying to get the Champions League football playing it inside now. Shevchenko. Well done from Hummels. Well done. Hummels going to try and lead the attack now, but the rest going to deny it. We could have got a 3v3 going on there, but the ref has said, no, no, you're not having it. You've got to wait for the second half. But yeah, a bit of a stale, stalemate game at the moment. Both teams wanting the win, as you can see. If I had to edge it, I've kind of got to go it to Hoffenheim. They seem like they're getting more attacks. Got to wake things up a little bit, but now at the break, I'll let you know if I make any changes. Really, I decided to make no substitution. I'm just going to see how this game plays out. And, you know, if it's around like the 50th, 70th minute, I don't know. Something around there, I might try and make a change if we're still at a stalemate or maybe even go 1 0 down. But I have got news though, it is 1 0 against Leipzig and Bayern. So if it stays like that, we'll Leipzig get the win. That's going to be huge for Dortmund to secure the league title right there. Hodgson's on the ball though, gets tackled though. He's had a bit of an off game, man. He looks like he might have picked up an injury here, which is not good. The young turn that's in form could be going off an injury. Georgina running through here. So good ball, it's ours! That was close. A horrible, horrible touch there. And luckily, number four is an absolute stink and flown it over the ball. I thought we had a bit of a mare there. It looks like Hosman as you can confirm there in the top of the corner, he is injured, but very close from Hoffman on. They should have scored that. That's their best opportunity, and probably the best opportunity they're gonna get in the whole game. Galelo on the ball here now. Cutting in. Can we play it for the verts? He's gonna get that. Put it back. Okay, straight to Jude. It's gone way too high for Jude Bellingham. Jude was all on his own. Unlucky indeed. Number 34 play it down the line there. To get back into Shevchenko. Shevchenko into Trujillo. Back to Shevchenko. Back out to the wing to Insuki. A very 
high tempo game this, but no goals at the moment. It's going into the box. Hummels, good clearance. Having a decent game, actually, Hummels. Haaland coming back to defend. Yes, well done. Good defensive too. He's Gabby on the ball. Now use Haaland. We don't want to him on the wings, but with the pace, he can do things like that. He can go right through players. He's a one-man army. Hosland's there. Hosland! And there we are. The Vikings linking up once again. Both of them. I've got to give it to Haaland because that was most of his job there. All of his work came from the Norwegian making that runner from the left and he plays it into his pal number 10 and he slots that one up we could have probably took over Haaland but we went for the bit of the easier option with Osland he makes it 1-0 injured or not he still bangs and delivers for Dortmund come on so Hosland there in the 68th minute finally opens up the deadlock in this game and makes it 1-0 for Dortmund a very high tempo game at the moment very nice today well done from Bremen right there no substitution so far yet though like I said, just give it time, and it has. It's opened up. Well done. Now the game's opened up for real now. Looks like Gavi's got a bit of an option there. He's got a bit of room. Gavi! And it's 2-0. Ball was an absolute man goal. I think he expected me to go the opposite side of the goal. But we've gone for the long shot there. No one closing Gavi. has got all the time in the world. The young Spaniel. And he's absolutely belted it. He should be doing better there. But I think the curve got the better of Bob. And I think he thought it might have got back from his defenders. But it didn't. It's gone right in. And what a finish from Gabby. What a long shot. Bowman, you've been defeated, my pal. Unlucky. Get in. So there it is. Back to back goes Prima straight away. 2 0 at game set and match. Unlucky indeed for Hovenheim. They put up a little bit of a good fight in the first half, but the second half. That just shows why we are at the top of the league at the moment. But here we go, though. They could get something. They get a goal now. They're definitely back in this. But Golelo just got absolutely speared by Belagarde. But God, he's still linking up. Hummels again. He's had a really good game, Hummels. I've got to give it to him. Well done. Into Haaland now. Haaland, good turn of route. Some of that you probably won't see that a lot from him. He's, I'll tell you what, he's done. Oh, my God, what the hell is this? He's a freak. Haaland, Haaland. Oh, and Bob with the same. What a solo goal that would have been. He's absolutely ran right for everyone. Finally got a substitution going on here. We're going to take on some more for Hummels. A round of applause for Hummels right there. He had an absolute crack of a game. I've got to give it to him. And we've got Galeo on the corner now. Can we potentially get a third in this game? It's going to Bremer and it goes over the bar. Unlucky. Let's say Scott's calling for Inzuki as well for Hoffman on the wing. We've got another substitution there. We're going to take off Hosman for Cody Gavin because you can see there he has picked up a bit of a nick even though he did score. Fair play to the kid. Fought through the injury and got us a go. But Cody Gap has come on even more. Arsenal coming onto the pitch there. Very threatening player indeed. I wonder if we can get him a goal. Go to go. That's the last thing Hoffenheim need. Another player added to our Arsenal in Cody Gakpo, and he has come on. But they, mm, that's a bit of a good gap there they found. It's a good ball, and Bremer, well done. Get him back when we need him the most. Cody Gakpo, though. Well for Gabby. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Can we keep the clean sheet alive? That's the question. Oh, no, well done for good to a crucial challenge, but not the best. Just get out. Nice, well done. That should be game rare for the Az. We survived getting the clean sheet. 2 0. Happy days indeed. A decent performance in the second half. The first half, like I said, we just couldn't close it down. You saw it there. They were just so good in the fence. And they should have scored when we had that bit of an error in the fence. But they did take the chances and we did. Hopefully Hoshan isn't out for long on his injury. Hopefully not, because that would be a big loss. And I don't think we would have a backup striker as well, which would be a bit worrying if two of the main men there, Haaland and Gapo, would get injured. But regards to that, a decent display in the second half. And because of that, we picked up a 2-0 win against Hoffenheim. Happy days. We continue on. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've had an absolute stormer. As you can see, of just a Underneath the Bayern and Hamsburg game, RB Leipzig beat Bayern 2-1, which is unbelievable for us. We have now got a five-point gap from second, which is unbelievable for Borussia Dortmund. Thank you very much, Leipzig. Now we just got to need them to drop points against maybe Bayern or Frankfurt, whoever they have got next. But now we focus back on Leverkusen in the second leg, and it looks like now we obviously are away in the Bayern arena. It's a big ask for them to come back from this, but also, as you know, it is a highlight game. But before we get into that, we have got one inbox here. Let's have a look down to this. This is the player injured. 
Ramos Holland has broken a bruised shoulder injury. Only out for five days, so that's absolutely fine. We just won't play him for this game right here. So let's get into the lives against Leverkusen and see if we can qualify to the next round. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the last day against Leverkusen away in the Champions League leg two. As you can see, Luka Modric is getting back into the team today. Tonali in this leg this time and Mori in right back. Only just switching around a couple of players because I feel quite comfortable win this even away on the highlights. Other than that, nothing else changes. As you can see, the guy that missed two pennies in Cuckoo is still up top for them. I'd be absolutely fuming if I was their manager. You've got to at least score one pen if you've got two. It is what it is. But hopefully, it can be a little bit better today. You never know. But they are more fair. You know, they was on orange-red stamina. So, you know, it could, you never know. You never know. Football is football and EA is EA. You never know what they're going to do for you on the highlights. But let's get into the highlights here and see how we get on. Come on. So here we go then, Leverkusen again, I mean, Jesus Christ, I mean, from this episode and last episode, this is the third time we played them, I mean, a bit crazy really, can we do three and three, that would be pretty embarrassing, and, and I mean, at this rate, it looked like it can be, can we do the three piece over them, be very wild indeed, but you know, they're at their home ground today, I expect them to be a little bit harder, we should be alright though, I'm pretty confident, let's get into this, come on. So here we go, then let's see what the highlights are going to do for us today. Let's have a little gander, shall we? We've got this first chance here in the 14th minute for Borussia Dortmund. It looks like it's yeah, a bit of a... Well, we're definitely not going to shoot this, are we? Let's be honest. Pretty much 40 yards out. We're going to give it to Bremer here, and I'll tell you what, we're going to go for it here. We've got a lot of room to shoot the centre back, and it's actually challenged Uno Simons. And he's actually punched out for a corner. The pack got the best of him. And now we've got another free kick in the 17th minute for Cody Gakpo. I would pick Galera on this, but I'm thinking power. I'm thinking power here. So I'm thinking maybe a bit of a turn. Hang on. Maybe I do do Cody Gap then. Um, oh, yeah, to be fair, Cody Gap has got all that power. So we could actually go for the knuckle here. Not the best of these boys. So if I just shit, score, man. Uh, smash the on. Here we go. I'll tell you what. Made too bad. I thought I had a bit of shocker there, but we did it too bad. There, here comes Dortmund on a solo run, and you know who I'm going to play to here. Boom, he's through. Big girl in. Can he do something here? Can Erling make us 1 0? Holland, he's gone for the Terraya shot. And I'll tell you what, the cheeky bastard has pulled that off right there. It's 3 0 on Agrega, even with just one goal, even with no goals. I think we got it in the bag today. And Bayer Lucas then have got to be embarrassed here because this is looking like a free piece over them right now. That's I want to be their fans at the moment. But they could get something here. It's a three-on-one against Moray. That player's an absolute man. No, he hasn't. He's played the right decision and the airport went back here. Am I speaking too soon? It's 3-1 on aggregate now. Game on. Good finish. I thought that player was going to mess up with that pass back, but he did it. He chose the right option. And they've brought one back. The game isn't over yet. Am I getting a bit too cocky? It seems like it, because in the 46th minute, it looks like Leverkusen have got another chance. Do it again. They're going to play it to Kuku this time. Kuku's got past one, and Kuku with a shot, and Kuku has to force a save. Out wide. Goes to Vert, and that's the attack over. And it's again, it's every team in the world's nightmare. It's big Erlen Hallen. Can he get past this player? Can he? Slow down a little bit. I'm going to go for the shot in. It's gone in. I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable, but. Unai Simmons, what are you doing there? That wasn't even that powerful. I think we can all see that. Even I know that from just how much power I put on the ball. But maybe just because it's Erling Haaland, he's very OP and he's very mad. It's gone past Unai Simmons and he's got to save that. But we're going through again here. 2-1 now. 4-1 on aggregate. And it looks like his hand again. Can he get the touch off? He's on his own again. He's cut inside. Haaland again. I said it last time I was on it, he's the best football player in the world. The guy's a freak, man. He's too OP on this game. What have I done? I might have actually just ruined the career more by just running in. He's getting cocky. They're all doing a dance. The feet they're in on beef and they've had a shocker. The home fans are annoyed. They're taking the absolute piss out of them. Leverkusen counter-attacking the 83rd minute. It's game setting match. It doesn't matter what they get now. Unless they get bloody, like three bloody pens again or something. They're not going to do anything. Hoslech. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna go. Oh, well done for. I, I tell you what. Why is Verts playing like defensive role? Maybe I had a shock in the lines, but I'll tell you what. If I have, he's, he's working. He's doing all right. Yeah, my plays it in to Bruno. Go. Go to just 
gets that easy. And there it is, 3-1 away and 5-1 on aggregate. Erlen Hallen once again carrying the ship. Four attempts, three goals, absolutely causing a lot of Leverkusen fans sending home in their taxis or whatever they're in the transport home crying. What a man. What a man. Absolute dominance from Dorman once again. 3-1, thanks to that man then, had him picking up the hat trick. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap things up, we are against Union Berlin, which you can see they are in 14th position. So, it should be a walk in the park for us. There's no sugar coat in this one. Like I said, we should be battering these. So, probably be a weaker side, I like to feel like. So, let's get into the lineups. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup today against Union Berlin. And there's probably one move that may have shocked some of you, and that's Hosland on for Haaland. I've just got to give Haaland a break. He's literally played every single game since he's joined the club. So, a team against Junior Berlin where we should be comfortably winning this either regardless of her home or away. Just going to give him a little bit of a rest. Gavi again going up by plus one as you can see. That's where we got to play him. Modric goes in for Jude Berlin. Again, just resting Jude Berlin because he plays literally every game. Papadopoulos coming in for Bremer. Just giving Bremer a rest and giving Papadopoulos a bit of a game time so he can grow a little bit higher than right there. So, looking at the Union Berlin team, I can only recognise probably one or two people and that's Lerma in the DM row and Thomas. Regardless of that, I don't really recognise anyone, but that shouldn't matter. You never know what can happen on the pitch. So hopefully, we can end this episode on a dub against Junior Berlin. Can we make it 4-4? Four and four? Let's find out. Come on. So here we go then. Match day 30 against Junior Berlin. It's coming to near the end of the season, I believe. And people like Haaland at the moment resting. These are games that we need to rest in, mostly because you know, we've got the Champions League coming. We've got bigger games are in again, potentially. Leipzig again, potentially. And... We're going to play like Hosland there, as you can see, on the left, up top with Gakpo. I think they could do the job today. So let's find out. Can we finish it with a dub today? Let's find out. Come on. So we go then. Hosland kicking off the ball. We are in our home colours in the yellow and bumblebee colours right there, as per usual. Very nice indeed. And Berlin in the red and white stripes with stripe versus stripes today. Very nice indeed. I don't like that shadow on the pitch. That's very annoying. Luka Modric on the opposite side today. So see what he does here. Hosland, there's a bit of a stinker there. Have a good fake out there. Let's so play this. Gabby, he's cutting inside. And lucky. you can see his rating just gradually getting higher and higher. And you can see it on the pitch. He just looks like a different player half the time. Happened with Jude Burnham, to be honest. But hang on, before we get into that, you and your Burnham playing some brilliant football. And they can take the lead with Kobo. It's the reason why he's the best keeper in the world. I'm going to say it because that is a joke of a save. You and your Burnham found a gap. And they did not take it again. Oh, we ran out of play. Classic. But yeah, I mean... Where did that come from? They found that gap so easily and it was like a two-on-one. Oh, we missed the challenge. This is not good. They're going to get that chance again in Kobo. Saving my ass and the team's ass at the moment. Dortmund fans probably not going to be happy with this so far. The away fans thinking, what the hell is going on? Like, wake the hell up, team. Up we go. Well done. Good clearance. Come on. Well done. Well done. Come on. Let's get this ball late, man. Lerma on the ball. The captain, weather from Tomori, a lot better there. Now we go. Hosland, good little, little trickery there. Kind of sent that 15 to the shops. We're not going to use Cody Gakpo because I don't think it's kind of forced. That's it, just relax. Holland is in the middle. We could try to find Hosland, but didn't go to him, did it? Thiago Thomas on the ball, goes to Louis. Goes down the wing again. They like to go down the swing a lot. Papadopoulos just really well. Not the best pass though, but I'll tell you what, it actually has worked out to the best. We're looking for Gavi, little fake up there. Colello, these two linked up really nicely. I said, let's get a little bit of a one-two there. Hosland, can he play it back to Gavi? He can. Gavi gets the ball. Can we play it into... I'm trying to play it into Cody Gap, but we couldn't get to him though. I'll tell you what, I don't know why he didn't go to Modric. He has so much room. Now he's got the room. Fake it from Modric. Modric here. Oh, and it's got a deflection. And the keeper just... I think he got a fingertip to it. If not, he got to the ball. Ball happened so fast. But it could be good going to friend here. There's a two on one. Shijun plays it through to Thomas. And Kobo again. What a brilliant save. A man of match display at the moment from Kobo. We're getting battered at the moment. It's a very wild game. It's like the Hoffenheim game all over again. Gabby here. Good little fake out here. Can we get the run there? Unless it's gone to Florian Wertz. And look who's up with him on the right-hand side. We're going to be a rat. Can we play it across? We can. We've had a shocker. 
That's what I get for being a bit of a rat on FIFA. We should have just shot. We tried to be a bit cheeky and a bit safer and play it into Hodgson and get that tap in. Unlucky indeed. Sija plays it in. Goes to Lewin. Got it from Papadopoulos. Ooh, unlucky. Can we grab that perhaps? Nah, it's gone too wide. It doesn't matter. It is a goal kick. We're also approaching half time going into this nil nil. And I've got to get it. I don't know how Union Berlin haven't scored. I mean, we've had our chances, but they've been brilliant. They've been really good. Damaging our defence a lot. Causing a lot of problems at the back. They just can't put their dinner away. For a team so far down the table, they're looking very threatening. But like I said, never underestimate the underdogs. Because you never know what happens. But never know at the break. I'll let you know if I made any changes. So, ladies and gentlemen, one substitution. And that is Cody Gapro goes off at Erlen Hand. I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to rest him. But the way Union Berlin is playing, I need that guaranteed goal. And I've gone to the main man, Haaland, to hopefully get me out of this hole that I may be finding myself in the next couple of minutes if they score. Not good. Segan on the ball, cuts it back there. To a speed, running from Gabby again, having a really good game. That's why I'm saying that overall is just improving this game a lot more. It's a great one too there. Again, these two linking up, and Haaland somehow finds that pass. And it goes to Hosland here. Hosland! Them two are just an absolute freak of nature, them two. What a duo. They are. I literally just brought on Haaland, and regardless of him is shooting or not, them two have linked up once again. There's all them two. The pass there from Haaland, the back pass. Hosland running past both defenders and just slips it into the right sense to keep it the wrong way. I think the Q4 is going to cross goal. I've gone near post instead. And Hosland again stepping up. Well done. At this rate, Hosland might have more goals than Cody Gapo. I mean, what a signing he has been. Crazy signing. Makes it 1 0 for us right here. To... Well done, Tonali. Well done. I didn't expect it to go through. That's why I hesitated a little bit there. Could have played it through, but no one's closing. Verts goes for the Torreyes. A good shot there from Rono. Well done. A great save. We're actually going to go outside the box again here because every time we do this, magic things happen. It's going to Modric this time. Modric on the finesse. And it just goes over. Oh, doesn't have to cause any save right there. We're going to bring on Jubilum now. He's on full stamina. Modric, that is his game up for today. He's had a decent game. But now it's time for the English sensation into the long shot king. Is on the pitch. Can we win that down? We can. Good header. Good two. Plays it into Jude. Jude Bennett on the ball now. Can he find Quan and Quan and He can. Hallen, can he swing it into the box? Yeah, unlucky. 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 Before we tried something there after it came back down for us, but did not prevail there, did it? We got it back again though. Gabby had a really good game. Really stepping up and sending him rules down. Jude Bennett looking for the overlap. The two kind of gets a little bit. We're going to try and swing us into. Oh, I thought it lands the Hosland again. Unlucky indeed. They look very similar, Hosland and Haaland. It's very. Uh, <laughs> can be very confusing. I wish one had like brown hair or something, but it is what it is. But a good challenge there. There we go. Just past there. Done. Jude Bannon. Jude Bannon's going for the shot. He's getting pushed toe back a little bit. But Rono forces it out to Dabile. Ole, is that how you his name? Hosland, well done. Caps in the corner. And that's it, we'll take that. That's going to be our possession right there. We we'll bring Vert to it. Looking for that second here to seal this game. That would be nice. Jude Benham, can he get it here? Jude! I'll tell you what, I might as well play these games to highlight because it's literally deja vu after deja vu after episode after episode. Again, Jude Benham with an absolute. Thunderbolt, an absolutely beautiful finish from a very odd angle. That is where his body is placed there. It just doesn't seem like he should be able to get that trajectory to get that type of shot, but he does. And it goes into the top left corner, celebrating to the away fans as they know they're on the verge of the title. Well done. So Jude Bellingham gives us the cushion of the two goals right there. Thiago Thomas on the ball now, just trying to lead this team in the attack to get something going, but. We're just looking way too strong everywhere on the pitch. We've got that Papadopoulos now. Well done. Let's go a little pass back here to Koba. Let's no need to rush this. No need to rush. Let's just wait for April to go out. There we go. We just threw it down the middle to Tanali and a little dinkaroo there to Jude. Well done. Going down on again here. We've gone for another one. I'm looking at that. on the back post. It goes to Hand instead. He goes for something magical there. And Tanali. Can Tanali get one here? Tanali! 
And it's a good save from Rono again. It goes out for another corner. We've got a substitution here. Bremer for Tomori. Why not? A very big centre back for another very big centre back. Very nice indeed. I'm just going to, I may try and go back post in this one. I'm going to go really far and wide and go back post. It's going to Haaland. Go to Gavi. Gavi going for the power shot himself. And I'll tell you what, it was quite close. Skimming the right side of the post. Very low driven shot there. Hummers on for Papadopoulos. Why not? Two minutes under the game. Stops him moan from getting an appearance right there. But that should be game set and match. We've won the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All we gotta wait for is if Bayern or Leipzig have switched up. Hopefully they have. Any time now, referee would be nice. One last attack. They could get a constellation kill here. And Hummels, I was gonna say desires him, but he does in the head. Kobo rests him right again. Everyone stepped up today. Hodge run. Kobo had a brilliant game. Jude Bellin coming on, brilliant. For me, man, the match is Kobo with that first half performance with them saves. A great display from our keeper. That's a true captain. And he has done today. Well done for the rest of the team as well. The title is looking like it's coming home to Br for Dortmund here. Hopefully it does. We just got to keep going. Got to keep this train going, and we'll get it. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Two 0 away to Union Berlin. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode today. But as you can see in the next one, it is going to be a phone ninety game in the DFB Portico Cup against Domstadt away in the semi-finals very tasty indeed we're looking at the league table right now quickly load up whilst we finish see what the crack is there it looks like i think leipzig won and so did Bayern. yeah leipzig 3-1 against hamburg and Bayern 2-1 away to gladbach i believe but still it's in our hands right here five points clear just need one of them to slip up and then it's game set and match we've definitely won the league title then i believe so yeah, not too bad today, picking up pretty much every game we played. All the dubs flying around the room, very tasty indeed. But next episode could go off as we could get into the final in the DFB Portico Cup. So if you did like this video, ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.